90% of the engineers fail their generative AI system design interview. Why? Because they answer the wrong question. I've taken hundreds of these interviews and there is one systematic approach that separates the 10% who get the offers from everybody else. So let's see how you can ace your next generative AI system design interview. I am sharing my unique approach in this video, so stick around till the end. If you are new here, I'm Priyanka Vergadia. I've mentored hundreds of engineers in big tech roles using this exact framework. All right, so let me break down what you're actually walking into. These generative AI interviews, they are going to throw one of three buckets at you, text generation, image generation, or video generation. But here's the thing, and this is where it gets really sneaky. They don't just ask you to build chat GPT. No, they get creative with it. Like they will say something like, hey, design a smart ticket creation system that auto generates support responses. Boom. That's text generation hiding in product features. Or they'll hit you with build a customer support chatbot like ChatGPT, but for our company. Some core challenge, different wrapper. They could ask for a multimodal system, a chatbot that doesn't just chat, it generates text responses. It creates images when needed. It demands the polls from the relevant videos and retrieves any information from the company's data set, like all in one conversation. Now, the best part about preparing for these interviews, they ask you any of these questions or something else along the same lines, they all follow the exact same underlying framework. Most people don't see it, but once you do, you can distinguish yourself from the rest and claim this job. Now here's the five step framework that will help you attack any generative AI system design question. The framework has these five phases, requirements classification, getting crystal clear on what we're building, machine learning problem framing, we're choosing the right approach to the task, data preparation, the unsexy but critical foundation, model development, which is the architecture decisions that scale, and evaluation, proving your system can work in production. Now, whether you're designing ChatGPT or Sora, email completion or face generation, this framework adapts perfectly. It's like having that master key that unlocks any Gen AI system design challenge. Now, this book does an amazing job in outlining this framework and following it for 10 common use cases that we just discussed. Now, let's look at ChatGPT for conversational AI and text to video generation. Now master these and you'll handle any generative AI interview with confidence. Now here's what actually happens in these interviews. You'll have about 45 to 60 minutes. The interviewer drops a question like design ChatGPT or build a text to video system. Most candidates immediately jump into technical details. Big mistake. The interviewer is not testing your ability to recite research papers. They really want to see systematic thinking, real world awareness, and business understanding. Can you break down the ambiguous problem? Can you make smart trade-offs? Can you design systems that actually work at scale? So designing a conversational AI system like ChatGPT that can handle millions of users Watch how the framework guides every decision. Phase one is requirements. I would clarify conversational context length, multi, multi language support, safety requirements, expected scale and response late. Let's assume 100 million users, 4K tokens, sub two second response latency filtering, things like that. Now, phase two is going to be your ML phrasing. This is the text generation task using autoregressive language model, decoder only, transformer architecture with next token prediction. The key insight here is we need pre-training on diverse text plus conversational fine tuning, right? Phase three would be your data preparation, web scale text for pre-training, curated conversational data sets for fine tuning, critical steps, deduplication, safety filtering, tokenization with BPE. We are processing terabytes systematically. Phase four would be your model development, 175 billion parameters, decoder only transformer, multi-headed attention, positional encoding, feed forward network, 
distributed training across thousands of GPUs, then supervised fine tuning and reinforcement learning from human feedback. Then phase five is your evaluation, where you're scoring for text quality, human eval for coherence, safety metrics for harmful content detection, and then user engagement for business impact, A-B testing for continuous improvement. That is one type of question, right? Now let's tackle something more complex, designing a text to video generation system like Sora. This showcases multimodal AI and advanced diffusion techniques. Now the requirements here would be generating a five second 1080p videos from text prompts, 30 second generation time, diverse context support, millions of daily requests. This immediately tells us we need serious computational power. Now, how do you frame the ML problem? Conditional generation using latent diffusion models. We operate in compressed video representation space, conditioned text embeddings. The magic is temporal consistency across the frames. Data preparation would be massive video text paired data sets, consistent resolution and frame rates, caption cleaning and embedding generations. Now video pre-processing would also be required. Petabytes of carefully curated data is required. The architecture for the model would be video diffusion transformer with temporal attention layers, text encoder for conditioning, video autoencoder for latent compression. The breakthrough is really handling the time consistently while maintaining visual quality. The training would be latent space pre-computation for efficiency, progressive training from lower to higher resolution, temporal consistency losses, and deployment requires specialized hardware for real-time inference. Now notice how the same five phases in the framework handle two completely different systems, ChatGPT text generation and Sora's video generation. Both followed identical systematic thinking, just with different technical implementations. This is what separates the candidates who get offers from those who don't, because you're following a structure. The ability to break down the complex, ambiguous challenge into those manageable, logical steps. This book structures every single Gen AI system this way. It's the closest thing to a playbook for these interviews that I have ever seen. I highly recommend getting this book and going through all the use cases one one by one and you can get it today using the link in the description if you like this video you will enjoy my previous videos on how to become an ai engineer here and see you next time